heading out bright and early from Big Meadows Lodge. We had a great stay there. Very beagle friendly place. And it's a beautiful morning and we saw a bear right outside of our room yesterday. And so now we are gonna bike about 30 some miles to Matthew's Arm Campground. They don't have electricity, which kind of sucks because we're riding e-bikes, so we're gonna try to conserve a lot. So, yeah. Alright, we made it to the highest point on Skyline Drive. I wish that meant that it was all downhill from here, but it doesn't. At least, that's a big milestone, right Danny? It does technically mean in the immediate future there is a downhill. Yes, that's a good thing. We can't go uphill from the high point. Yes, so we're about to get on a downhill. Beasley wants to get walk over there. It also means Beasley is the highest beagle on Skyline Drive right now. Beasley is the highest beagle on Skyline Drive! All right, so I think I told y'all earlier that the campground that we were hoping to stay at has no electricity, and we were hoping to maybe plug in at a visitor center or something near there. But we are 20.5 miles in to our almost 30 mile ride today, and we stopped, we stopped here at Thornton Gap because they have a little visitor center and they have an outdoor plug, and we're plugging in and charging up, so we won't have anything to worry about if we get a campsite that's primitive with no electricity. So we're gonna charge up for a little bit here and then hope to get to Matthew's Arm before the thunderstorms this afternoon. So while we have some time to kill here at Thornton Gap, I wanted to address some of the questions that we've been getting a lot by a bunch of people that see our e-bikes. So the number one question is, aren't you guys cheating? Um, that was also the first thing I thought when Danny came to me and asked, about getting e-bikes. I was like, no offense Danny, but you're kind of lazy and that's kind of a cop out, so no. And then he was like, please can we just try them? So I said, sure, we can just try them. And we did and I loved them. And I was still really concerned about getting a good workout in when we were cycling, so I looked and compared my workouts from when I trained with my regular bike and when I trained with my e-bike. And per mile, I did burn more calories with a regular bike, which I expected. It was about 15% more calories burned on a regular bike than my e-bike. But the amount of calories that I've burned total per day has gone up exponentially. I haven't calculated exactly how much, but I burn way more calories per day because I use my e-bike way more often than I did my other bike because I take it everywhere. I use it to commute, I use it to go to the grocery store and I bring a trailer to bring the groceries home. I use it for everything, commute to school. So I've been burning way more calories overall since I got the e-bike. Really, if you're considering getting this and you're anything like me, it depends on how you're gonna integrate it into your lifestyle. So if you're going to make it replace one of your vehicles, then it's an amazing way to be more active in your everyday life. It's something that I'm really, really thankful that we did. So I just wanted to give y'all that perspective because everybody's been asking about if we even get a workout in. And I'm sure you guys can tell from this trip and all my videos that I've been getting an incredible workout. I use my Apple Watch to, to keep track of it because the Apple Watch uses my heart rate to determine how much of a workout I get, which is more objective and I like that rather than using mileage and miles per hour like a lot of other GPS based things do. I'll show you guys, I'll scroll through and show you some of the stats I've been getting for this trip, but I have been getting incredible workouts and I can tailor my workout to what I like and what I need to do, whether I'm commuting or bike touring. All right, so here is my Apple Watch app. So this was the first day of the trip. And these are active calories burned, not net. Like these are calories I burned on top of my normal resting metabolic rate. And so my goal every day is 570. So I more than 
met my goal every day of this trip so far, so that's Monday. Tuesday, my Apple Watch died towards the end of the afternoon, but I still burned tons of calories. Um, Wednesday, I burned 1,600, almost 1,700. Thursday, that was, I think that was our 67 mile day. So I burned 2410 that day, which is a ton. And it gives you a whole plot of your heart rate and it can give you more detail. So there's, I did 365 minutes of exercise that day. Um, so it can go into more details, but I just wanted to show you guys that on this trip, this was yesterday, I've been more than meeting my move goal. This is today. I have been burning lots of calories using my e-bike on our tour and only going in eco while pulling all my weight and still getting all the miles in that I need to get in every day. So there's some more details on that. Danny is literally just sitting at the front of this place petting all the dogs that walk by. I'm so jealous. I have to stay back here with Beasley because she doesn't like other dogs. That's okay because we're in the sunshine and it's warm. All right, we're on the road again. We just left Thornton Gap. People there were super nice. It was a good little hour and 40 minute charge up, rest time, big a walk. And now we're back on the road heading up to Matthew's Arm. All right, so we made it to Matthew's Arm Campground and they were completely booked up. So we were just pushing on. Matthew's Arm is only another 22 miles to Front Royal at the end of the Skyline Drive. So we're either gonna stealth camp and hope nobody finds us or we're just gonna go straight into Front Royal and get like an Airbnb or something last minute. More importantly, Danny just spotted another three bears within like, I'm not kidding, the mama bear was probably within 10 feet of us. And then there, she had her two cubs, and the two cubs were adorable. They were so close, you could like see the details of their faces. And they just sat there looking at us like curious. It was the coolest thing ever. I can't believe how many bears, we're up to, we've seen nine bears now on this trip. So we're in bear country, that's for sure. And Danny says, one more bear and we get a free set of steak knives. Woo, we did it! We did are you it. excited? Yeah. We did it. We are in Front Royal now. There wasn't like a cool sign at the end for us to like take a picture in front of, but Super proud of us. We ended up going 301 miles. Because I added it up. Hey! Thank you. Now she's distracted. Are you a happy bagel? She probably just thinks this is her life now. That we're just gonna bike everywhere every day for the rest of her life. So today alone we ended up going 52.6 miles total. It was our second longest day. We both at the end were like, we would totally do this again. It was so much fun. Do you think that you're going to get an e-bike now? I don't know. I just may. I think you I are. I like it. I rather. I think it's rather nice. 